Kelly? Well, it was pretty awesome actually. Uh, besides getting hung up on all my uh, skid plates on all those points and rocks, um, it's kind of a bad spot. But as far as the automatic goes, it is really nice for sure. It's like easy button. You just hit the throttle and it does it. So hopefully, you know, that was the first little tiny rock pile. Hopefully, test it out more the rest of the day. So for those of you who are not all caught up on this build series on this transmission, this is a 32 RH out of a 1994 Jeep YJ. So it is a three speed transmission, uh, no overdrive, no torque converter clutch lockup. So uh, it is bare bones, bare bones. And then I went even further and built it full manual valve body, reverse valve body, there is no computer, there's no TV cable, there is no nothing. I put it in first gear and it's in first gear, end of story. Put it in third gear, it's in third gear, end of story. So it doesn't shift for me uh, and the pressure I believe on the uh, Cope Racing Transmission valve body that I put in it is 150, 160 PSI. So it really slams those gears. A couple things I gotta show you. Drive lines I never showed you guys uh, from the last video. And then uh, Barnes Four Wheel Drive sent me a bunch of new Heim joints for the front suspension because these ones are from 2016, the end of 2016, early 2017, and some of them are very squeaky. So I'm gonna show you some drive shafts, what I did for those. We're gonna swap out some Heim joints and then we're gonna hit the trail and we'll see how it works. It's gonna be tough to see with the skid plates and everything on, but right here where the shifter is, the uh, shift linkage actually touches the drive shaft. So I had to cut and re-sleeve this drive shaft, my front drive shaft, and sleeve it on the inside, right in the spot where the shift linkage is. And on the rear drive line here, you can see I sleeved the outside with quarter inch wall tube. It is fully welded around here and then plug welded a couple of times on each side. And I made sure that everything was in line exactly where it was originally. Original weights are still on here, so I've driven it about 50 miles an hour and it doesn't have any vibrations, which is awesome. I don't know how I did that, but uh, yeah, I did not want to take it to a driveline shop and spend a bunch of money on these drive lines, so I wanted to see if this would work first, and it did, so I'm super happy about that. So here are the new Heim joints, left hand, right hand thread, enough to redo the three link here in the front and then these are three quarter inch himes two sets for my steering So one of the things that, uh, with an automatic transmission, I'll turn this fan off, is uh, downhill engine braking that you get in like first gear in a mainly transmission. Now this one in first gear has low band apply, which should have engine braking, at least some, maybe not all, but there's a hill right here and I'm gonna test it out and see how much engine braking there actually is and you know, does it just shoot down the hill or does it actually slow it down? We'll find out. at all that whole time so it definitely works and it doesn't get out of control which is exactly what I wanted it's not quite as much 
as with the manual, I would say. But it's hard to tell, like, it's been a month or so since I've driven the manual. So, uh, I'm definitely pleased with that uh, low band apply manual one load. It was not out of control. I mean, if you didn't have any kind of engine braking at all, that would have been, you would have been flying down that hill. Yeah, for sure. Oh, hey, Rob. <laughs> Haven't, hey, seen, haven't seen you in a while I know. in a video. I've been hiding. Or at least uh, both of us together. I don't think we... Oh, when was the last time we were in a video together? Like two years ago yeah, almost, maybe. probably. Maybe. I mean, yeah, it's been a while, so it should be a fun day. Still getting used to this is only the only like 10 minutes into the trail and I do love it but I'm finding myself reaching for the clutch pedal that's not there which is weird uh, so yeah that's something that's happening it's looking smooth though Kelly it does it feels really good like it doesn't um, like I said before it doesn't push through the brakes it's like the perfect the torque converter seems to be like the perfect rpm range for the gearing and the motor and everything so I just give it a little bit of throttle and it slowly climbs, which is exactly what I wanted. So, so far, and also the temp, it's just 160, which is perfect right now. Uh, I do have a fan. That's not the fan, that's the only fan. But I do have a fan that I can turn on if I see the temperature is getting a little higher than I want. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. Right there, crawl, crawl. Okay, roll through it, roll through it, roll through it. There you go, yeah, buddy. Yes. I would back up. Fine, dude. When you're asking, let's get a kick to get out there anyway. It doesn't matter. Can't even get it. I guess that's off. Yeah, you I'm basically gonna have a conversation with some people here at the trail and ask them what the, do they prefer in their experience. So first up here, Mac. Yes. 
tell us where they can find you first and what you have here. So they can find us, on, me and Alicia on YouTube at Little Bit of Foreplay. And then they can find me on Instagram with Foreplay LJ. So you have an, you have an automatic. In yes. Correct? Okay. And you have experience in the past with manuals. So I've automatic. wheeled, I've wheeled YJs with auto, or automatics and manuals. And then I've wheeled um, TJs with automatics and manuals. Okay, so what do you what do you prefer and why? I personally prefer an automatic, um, just because I know a lot of people prefer manuals because you can clutch bump them and things like that. But what I've noticed is if you have a higher stall torque converter, it almost acts like it because you can let off the gas and it will roll backwards. But the reason I like it is just for the sheer fact that when I'm up on an obstacle, I get to choose when those tires move rather than having to try to do multiple things at once. That's exactly. So like just mean. being able to focus on what I'm doing or focusing on my spotter rather than trying to um, focus on my feet too. So I can feather the gas a lot easier. But the thing being is that it does wrap power and it does get hot. So my biggest complaint with an automatic is that my cab gets super hot. I don't run like a fully built transmission or anything like that. It's basically a pull out of a, a ZJ if you, if you were to run it and then just with a rubicon like a jk rubicon transfer case and it seems to they seem to hold people say that they have numerous issues with them or they constantly have issues with them but i feel like if you have a really good cooler and at least a fan on your transmission cooler you're pretty well good yeah heat's the key and i think as i was like thinking about it is with automatic like the predictability yes of like hey put your tire here and it doesn't move, you're on a rock, and mm -hmm. then you just give it a little bit of throttle and you can control it. Yeah. You're not so you hand throttling and mm -hmm. moving your foot around and then rolling off of the obstacle yeah. and all that stuff. That's the predictability of the automatic is uh, something that I noticed today in the first time driving it is I really, I really like yeah, it. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> I like it a lot for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, predictability is, is, is huge, especially when you get on like obstacles like this where you're vertical and you're just wanting those tires to barely move, you yeah. don't have to have nearly as much gearing, like the Toyota guys that have to run doublers, and there's a lot of other guys that run doublers for that exact reason, is so they can just let the clutch out and it does move very slowly. Yeah. But with sure. an automatic, you can compensate that with your foot. Cool, man. Thanks for No problem, man. Have a good one. You too. Okay, so we got Victor here, and the yellow jacket, it looks like you had a little bit of a struggle on there. Yeah. You got up it just fine, but it took a couple tries. Can you tell me about your Jeep and kind of what you've been doing to it? Yeah, so it's my 2015 JKU. So I actually just finished up yesterday with my axle swap and I just threw in a Pro Rock Dana 44 or Dynatrack Pro Rock 44 and a matching Sport 44 in the rear. Went from a 373 gear ratio up to a 488 and just starting to kind of learn and re uh, relearn basically the clutch and where I need to be working it. So, how do you like the new gears? Do you like it? Is it noticeably oh, yeah. better? Oh, it's great. Yeah, uh, so much smoother. Before I had a few issues with stalling a little bit more frequently, just because I had to keep a little more uh, RPMs up to keep myself going through the obstacles. Uh, but now it's just a lot smoother. I don't have to baby it quite as much. So. Okay, so we're talking about automatics versus manual transmissions. Obviously, this is a manual. Yep. You've had automatics before as far as off-roaders. Yep. So in your in your preference, what what do you prefer to use? So for me specifically, I enjoy a manual a little bit more. Um, it's definitely more driver feedback, and you have to be a little bit more on top of it. It's more of a challenge. Um, from in the past when I've had my autos, they're a lot easier to wheel. You don't have to worry about stalling as much. Uh, there are some setbacks between the both of them, but personally, I just really enjoy driving the man. You feel a little bit more attached to the road, attached to the vehicle. In auto, you don't really know if your tires are spinning or if you're in the stall zone, so there's not applying power down. Yeah. So. Okay, cool, man. Thanks for talking awesome. to me. Yeah, have a good one. thanks, Kelly. Well, guys, we made it back to my house. I forgot to film the outro at the trail, and now we're already back here, so. It was great to have Robbie with me for uh, the day, which was really awesome. Got him motivated to actually start working on the Cherokee, hopefully. You're motivated now, right? I'm motivated. Okay. A little bit more, yes. Yeah, so I can say definitively that I am in love with the automatic transmission. And Robbie could see, from the outside, you could see it, you know, the benefits of it as well, right? Yes. 
is far more smooth. You might have even converted or changed my mind. Now well, I'm all of a sudden thinking <laughs> putting an automatic in my <laughs> Well, I mean, if you, AW4s are super cheap. Yeah. If you get one, just bring it over here and we'll build it real quick. We don't have to do anything crazy. Uh -huh. Put some clutches in it and make it, you know, a little higher PSI. We'll see. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll yeah. see. Uh, but I definitely uh, enjoy the automatic much more. And like I said before, the uh, predictability and the control that you can have with that automatic transmission, uh, I can definitely see it now. Uh, anyways, I'm going to end that video here. And until next time, we'll see you on the trail. Rage on that beat, gon' crave.